Hello, Professor Gamble here. And uh, what I'm going to do today is show you how to use Excel to calculate standard deviation using formulas and then to verify the results using the built-in functions with Excel. So what we have here is a spreadsheet with some values and uh, we're going to calculate all of this out so these numbers down here will automatically appear and then be verified. So uh, let me delete all of this so I can show you step by step what will happen. Alright, so, so this is where we're going to start. And the formula for standard deviation, there's two of them. One is the standard deviation for a sample, which would be the values, the count of the values minus one. And then the standard deviation for the population, which would use all of the count of the values. And you'll see what I mean by that as we go along. So the first thing we need to do is identify what our values are. So here are our values in column A, rows 2 through 7. And we need to calculate the difference between the value and the mean. So we're going to come down here and calculate the mean. And the mean is just the average. So we're going to use uh, an Excel function to calculate the average. going to highlight these numbers and so we get the mean of 8 all right so now I could come up here and tell Excel to calculate the difference between the value and the mean we're going to go equal click on the value and we're going to subtract the mean now what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit F4, so we have these dollar signs. These dollar signs tells Excel that this will be an absolute reference, so it will always reference column A, row 11. So now what I can do is actually just drag this down, that formula down, and it'll do, all, do the math for all of the values. And if I go in here and hit F2, you see how that dollar sign A, dollar sign 11 stayed there because I told it to do an absolute reference. So now the second step to calculate uh, the standard deviation is to square the difference. Because we have negative numbers on the difference, when we square a negative number, we'll get a positive number. Alright, so the way we square is we tell Excel we're going to do an equation by hitting the equal sign and I'm going to click on this and shift 6 gives us the caret right? and the caret tells Excel that we're about to do an exponent and it's going to be an exponent 2 so we're going to raise it to the second power and click that so 1 raised to the second power is 1 so now that I have that formula in I can actually just drag that down alright so we're almost at the point where we can calculate our standard deviation and the standard deviation is actually just a square root of variance and uh, let me go in here and make certain I type this right so variance right so the question is how do you calculate variance well variance is the sum of the differences squared divided by the count now that is the variance for a population. So the variance for a sample would be the sum of the difference squared divided by count minus one. So when you're working with a sample, it's the count minus one. So first off, let's find out how many we have, right? And let's just use a, a, fun, uh, a function that Excel offers and it's the count function and I'm going to tell Excel to count how many values are in this area and what we see is we have six values and remember 
what I need to calculate the variance is the sum of the differences squared. So I'm going to use a function that Excel offers, which is the sum function. And I'm going to sum up these squared differences. All right. So now, for sample population, again, the variance is the sum of the differences squared divided by the count minus one. So what does that look like? That, that formula will look like this. So I already have the sum of the differences squared and we're going to divide that by now this is an order of operations issue right so here's the count right and I have to subtract one from it so the sum of the differences squared C8 divided by the count minus one so the count minus one so I get the variance of 4.4 .4. and you can see that I already verified that because Excel offers a function for variance right and here's the 4.4 .4. and here I'll type in see so there's the, the formula equals var well the function var equals a2 through a7 alright so now remember what I said standard deviation is the square root of variance and since we're working with the population all right it's the n minus one so we're going to use a function square root of the variance close that and hit OK and there you have it standard deviation for the population is 2.10 and again down here we use the Excel function to verify ST dev is standard deviation for a population and you see that I have A2 through A7 highlighted here so now to look to treat this as an entire population right again it is the sum of the differences squared divided by the count of values right 3.67 and you can see right here I've used the var p which is the variance for population for the values and you see that our answers equal and just like above for square root of a population, uh, for a sample population, the, the standard deviation for a population is also the square root of the variance for that population. All right, so there we have it, 1.91, and down here we have the, the Excel function stdevp, the p stands for population, a2 through a7, right there. So that's how you would use Excel to calculate standard deviation using formulas and then verifying them with Excel functions. This was understandable, and I look forward to seeing your work. Have a great day.